day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Did he, uh, uh, P. Lee would do at this point, he would kind of refer to the not initiating the action. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, I think that's where our, our debates have come in is how much does this action do? I know as in when, when we have that relationship with God, when we have God's heart, we yeah. act in accordance with that, but we have to have that relationship. Uh, sometimes in the past, I have done things because I thought it, I thought. Exactly. I was in the spirit. Yeah. I thought I thought it was the right thing and the right time to do it. Yeah. Yeah. And as a result of that, uh, nothing happened. And and uh, and what I learned from it was that I have to align. I have to be in alignment with the will of God. So there's a. It's almost like a, a water hose having. You use the hose to wash the car with. Well, you really don't. You use the water to wash the car with. You just <laughs> direct the water to go through yeah. the hose. <laughs> And I think that's who we are in, in this scenario. We are the water hose. We are not the water. Right. We're not the source of the water. We, 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 we're not the water. <laughs> we, don't, we don't even point ourselves in the direction. There's a tool no. that's funneled through. Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 but, and, and the relationship has to be with the faucet. And, 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 and then the rest of the We got yeah. to turn the faucet on for the water to flow. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, now. You know, it's kind of funny. If he's not controlling, if you're not controlling that hose, that water go every which way. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, my fact. A lot of, a lot of <laughs> us operate like that. It's like, <laughs> you're all over the place. What are you supposed to be doing? But only the Father can give us that direction. And, and I think that that's where some of the doubt is dispelled. When you know you're operating in the Spirit of God, when you know God is leading you, doubt has a tendency to flow out. It goes away. You know, yeah. it's like, God told me to do this. And I used to, when my wife was on the earth, I used to tell her, I can't not do this. Yeah. So I would get an yeah. unction that would be so overwhelming that there was no way I could rest until it was done. Now, and the thing about it, like I said, and, and, and I say use it, translate some of that, that word standards, relationship as authority. It's, it's just who authority am I operating under? Whose direction am I operating under? In my fact, yes, sir. Who is my following? Yes. Yes, sir. As a matter of fact, here, Brother Jackson, some scripture. Cause I got Brother Jackson leave soon, so we got to get got to load him up with some words before he get out of here. <laughs> got to load him up with some words here. Go ahead, Brother Jackson. This is the uh, Deuteronomy, eighteen nineteen. So what I'll do, Brother Jackson, uh, Addison, is to bring up some old scriptures first, in which that name, my name, and every time y'all hear that name, stop thinking authority is what mm -hmm. I'm trying to get to the point of. Amen. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name, I will require it of him. And translate Verse that as a speak in my what? In my, in my name. Come on, change it again. What, 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 I want to, what I want is for this study, because it, it, it does, it was it blessing me, Brother Addison, is which shall speak in my authority. I will require it of him. Oh, you see what I'm saying, Brother Jackson? I'm mm -hmm. trying to say that. Just translate that now to authority, if you don't mind. Okay. But for the purpose All of right. this study and for the purpose of our walk is to understand we're walking in a relationship of authority through God, of God, through Jesus Christ. Amen. All right. Amen. Verse 20. But the prophet, which shall presume to speak a word in my authority, uh -huh. which, I have, which I have not commanded him to speak, well, or that shall speak in the in the authority of other gods, even on. that prophet shall die. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. Hey, that was that brother Elder. We're talking the fact is make sure you 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 didn't hear from him because he commanded. <laughs> <Good man. laughs> you, 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 you're not in the authority. Go ahead, brother Jackson. <laughs> Second Chronicles verses uh, chapter seven verses thirteen and fourteen. If I shut up heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, yes sir. If mm. my people 
which are called by my authority shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. You see, brother, how that power comes in and say, if, if my people to call on the my authority, huh? my authority, you see that elder, does that make sense? It does. My authority. I'm just saying it just, you seem to me, brother, I said, just, it just amplifies that, well, that, you know, that my name part, you know? Well, let me just chime in right quick. You know, uh, you know, these past two weeks we've had the uh, the DNC and the RNC. You know, they're the uh, Democratic convention and the Republican convention, and um, you know, all that stuff is is whatever. That's the, kind of the way I look at it. Because uh, wh wh where is the love of God in all of that? Uh, where is the Word in all of that? Yes, and, sir. You know, that's the way I look at that whole scenario. Uh, we, what we witnessed was, hey, here we are looking at what some some man uh, and woman uh, and, and group of people, you know, whether you're on the congressional side of the house, you know, or, or whatever, what they can do for us and, and what they should be doing, really, and what we all should be doing is, is looking to God yes. and seeking what he would have us to do. Because yes. frankly speaking, as people, we don't need them. Uh, all we need is God. We can all just get together and we can handle all of this um, without them. You know what I mean? The one thing that I think ahead, is, uh, it forms a, a very, uh, it's a good, uh, it's a good backdrop to have for us because we function as the kingdom of God and yes. we need the world system in a sense to manifest its glory as well. And it, it is lacking, in, it's, it's lacking in glory. It cannot resolve its own issues. And so it, it, it provides us an opportunity to say, y'all can't solve this. Come, no. to, come to God, come to Christ. You want an mm -hmm. everlasting kingdom? You want a, you want something that's really gonna be, you want honor, you want integrity, you want truth, you need to join the kingdom of God. So for us, it's really forming a great backdrop for us to do our business. And that's actually drawing people into the kingdom out, out of the world system. Yes, sir. They're doing hey, Elder, 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 say a little bit better this. If the people come under my authority, if they find Jesus, uh, if you really want to know what fake news ain't, if you, you want to know the truth, <laughs> see, aside from Christ, it's all fake news. See, see, what a, I, that, uh, I need to put that on a t-shirt. Come yeah, on now. It's all fake news. <laughs> Christ, it, all yeah, fake because news. only the good news is the gospel. <laughs> and, 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 and I just like the fact that saying is that, like you say, I, if we can come under his authority, he can fix it. If we submit to his authority, he so can fix it. He said you know that, he, right? He yeah, said it. he said it. He what said it. Remember John, no, John 15, he said, without me, you can do nothing. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem. I was looking at the um, My Black Lives Matter. And, and you know, one of the things I think, Brother Asner, somebody said they read it. One thing is really missing in there is God. Mm -hmm. Power, the authority of mm -hmm. God. That Man. means you're trying to do it under another authority. You and made yourself God. Another authority. It ain't gonna work. Right. That's it right. ain't gonna last. It doesn't have the sustaining power. You see what I'm you saying? You know why? Because it can't fix the folk that are broke in the system. Come on. How does Black Lives Matter when you got black folk killing black people? Come on. Why did? It, they broke. They, they messed up. They need their own lives fixed. Right. There are murderers among us. Right. And right. I know it's true because we have quite a few murders take place within, you know, close vicinity. But that statement leaves out a major truth. All have seen and come short of glory of God. The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. Yes, Black people. hearts, white hearts, Asian hearts, Hispanic hearts, all and the black hearts. And they, <laughs> black hearts. Yeah. Yeah. And then we need to put that on a t-shirt too. Black hearts are the sequel of Bob. <laughs> and, and, and the other thing too is they even go back to Brother Asin when you're talking about Nebuchadnezzar. When the yep. president sit there and say, I alone can fix it. Yeah. See, 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 that means that you're trying to come under your authority. Now you go. And some, and some people think that the United States authority or the president's authority is 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 the most powerful, but it's not. 
God is the most powerful. God is powerful. And God said, besides me, there is nobody else. Amen. I think the coronavirus Amen. proved that very well. Yes, the sir. They're trying to that. make the presidency have power. Exactly. In all reality, the way our government is set up, Chris the is. people is mm -hmm. supposed to have the power. Yes, sir. That's but the they're trying to change that. Chris, talk. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, and, and, and make it be that the president has all this power. And I don't know what's going on with all this. I really don't care anymore. Okay. But they're 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 leading down a road that they really don't want to go. Nope. They really are. Exactly. Because anytime you go back in history and see a person try to elevate themselves above God, yeah, there's right. always a great fall. I mean it's it's is what is that? Uh pride. Yeah, pride. Yeah, uh, uh, some of the things that some of the things he hates. What, what pride, before, uh, pride, pride, before, before, pride comes before fall, and a haughty spirit before destruction. Yep. Yes, sir. Here we go. And and that that's that's been proven all throughout history. Yeah, current so history. If, if they want to go that's down fine. that road, you know that's fine. All I know is is that my God shall supply supply all my needs right. according to his riches. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And I like the fact he tries to under his authority. Go ahead, Chris. Okay, hold on. Let me get back. Let me pull y'all right back up. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. My question is back to when you were talking about Black Lives Matter. So if y'all 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 telling me you can't support this? No. No, we're not saying that. We're just saying is that if we if we place the more authority of that movement into God's hand, then we got more of the effect that's lasting, is what we're trying to say. In other words, if it's coming under its own name, it's going to rely on its own power, then it, it has maybe a limited stay in power, is what I'm trying to say. We're saying is put God in it. Put God if as God ain't in it, it's, it's bound to end. You know what there, I mean? There, there's, there's, there's a... Uh, there's just an inherent failure that has to happen because it's man's effort. Yeah. Now, if we put God in it and we believe that God is going to bring about this this change to where black ma black lives matter like all other Caucasian lives, then there is bound to be a change if, if God is in it. But that if you don't if, if it's not a part of the charter, if it's not a part of the foundation uh, of uh, structures, then, you know, it, it's going to last, but I don't know how long. Because even the United States had to put God in it before, you know, for it to last as long exactly. as it did. Matter of fact, cause even, you know, I think one of the things I do like is the fact is that the, the you know, incorporating the Bill of Rights, God, and Native Rights, and so forth. It talks about the currency and God we trust. I'm just saying this, Chris, is, no, I'm not, I think it, it, it can go as far as it can go under man, but I say it can go even further under God, putting putting God in it. I, and one of the scriptures I use that with John 15 said, without me, you can do nothing. In other words, the, the effectiveness can go further under the authority of God, not man, not some ministry, but under God, I believe that you have more traction that's going to last longer. However, I do encourage it to continue, but I do believe that... I'm, I'm, I'm with it. I, I really am. I mean, I'm a person of color. Yeah. So, I mean, how could I not be with it? Exactly. You know, you have to be... You have to... I mean, you have to deceive yourself not to... I mean, to be a person of color and not get behind Black Lives Matter. I had, a, I had, a, I was listening to a Christian conservative radio station this uh, Friday, and that joke was sitting there. I looked it up because this guy was sitting there trying to make it a negative, uh, a very destructive. He says it's very destructive. It's, it's, it's just, it's just. He would come to and says evil. You know, he says trying to destroy the family. And I, I, so I went to read, the, I went to read the website itself. It's not very 
negative at all. Uh, it was it's trying to incorporate the fact that saying is I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna be disruptive toward the nucleus family, the concept of of one father, one wife, and two children. To understand is that the family structure consists sometimes of one father and children, one wife and children. You know where you mean Eloise is trying to incorporate all the different types of ideas of a family. Is what it was saying. <laughs> and, and you, we can't take that away. No matter what they somebody want to say, it, we can we can sit there and say that the ideal family is a husband, wife, and two children. We can say that, but that's that's <laughs> the, the back life saying is a family is more consistent of just that. A family <laughs> could be two people living together, children living together without parents, right? That's but he. I'm just trying to say, brother, Asa, he was trying to make that. It's saying they try to destroy the nucleus family. Okay, and that's why I had okay. to go read the the, the website. Uh, but, 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 but,